Hello and welcome to Angry Andy Reviews, and this is my review for Candy Cane Lane. Right, uh, Candy Cane Lane, another, pff, oh my word, what is it with modern Christmas movies where they're just farts in the wind? And that's what this film is. This film is a fart in a blizzard. It's rubbish. I'm going to tell you straight off the bat, like I always do, it's rubbish. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. No, um, <laughs> I suppose... We have to give credit where credit is due. Um, it's utterly bizarre, and not in a good way. It's a fucking mess. It's an absolute mess. What on earth is this film? What's the plot? Don't know. Is it interesting? Not in the slightest. Is it funny? Like a good Christmas movie probably should be? Mmm, nope. It's not even funny at all. What's the moral telling of this story? Not got a fucking clue. <laughs> what is the purpose of this film? <laughs> no idea. It's a dead end of a film. Honestly, this film is absolute unmitigated garbage. It stinks. I am shocked by how awful this film is. <sighs> I don't know where to begin. I really don't know where to, to begin. It tries to be some some weird sort of self-aware family comedy but there's, there's, there's too much going on it's extremely broad in every single aspect there's characters trying to do this characters trying to do that we're all trying to do this and eddie murphy wants to do that and do this and then there's got the villain you got the what the who the fuck is anybody in this film not a clue not a clue it shows you <laughs> how vapid a Christmas movie can be. If you're interested to see how sort of lazy, tired, and I'm not talking about Hallmark Christmas movie tired, because, my God, at least they know what the fucking doom of those films. Are you serious? If you, if you want just complete and utter flatness, if you want to see just the drudgery and dribble of Christmas cinematic movies, then this is it. This is it. God almighty, it makes Jingle All The Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger look like a masterpiece and <laughs> Yes, I do enjoy that film, but my god, it's not perfect and it's flawed in the extreme Come on, don't bullshit me Bullshit Bullshit <laughs> Bullshit 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 You said it's all bullshit But this is a different level of absolute drudgery <sighs> <laughs> there's no spark in this film. You, you've got visuals of Christmas and there's all this and all that. Oh, look at all these, look at all these magical things. But it, it amounts to nothing. It means nothing. There's, I, I can't even think of anything positive to say, to be quite honest. I really am struggling. I'm really struggling. Does it, does it look good? No, not really. Does it sound good? Absolutely not. Nick Offerman's English accent is the worst English accent I have ever heard. I swear to God, the film. I, I would I would suggest watching it purely for that. But no, don't even do that. Do not put yourself through this. I, I love Nick Offerman. I really do. But my God, somebody told him the wrong fucking thing with this film. <laughs> Horrendous. <laughs> and then oh, to top it off, to top it off, they have the audacity. This film has the audacity to give you an outtake sequence in the credits, like we used to get in the mid-90s, and it's the most cringiest fucking thing I've ever seen. How can you have outtakes in a film that isn't funny? It's like me doing outtakes of walking into this fucking room and hitting my feet on the fucking door and crying. No, it's not funny at all. <laughs> 100% avoid this film. 100% avoid this film. It's it's a film that's just riddled with far too much going on. 
There's too many overbearing creative ideas. There's too much happening. There's too much on screen. For so short a film, there's just too much. It needed squishing down, moulding into something that looks like a fucking Christmas cracker. What? Because that's the only way you get some semblance of what is actually fucking real about it. There is nothing else here. There's nothing else here in this film. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> Weird? Yes. Funny? Absolutely not. Candy Cane Lane is just a, an utter disaster of a Christmas movie. It's one of those that we put, put on in the background when nobody else is paying attention. Sort of about, let, let's say, what, what time do we usually zone out on Christmas Day? Around about half past two. It'll be put on about half past two. Nobody will fucking care because we're all too busy talking to each other like we fucking should do. And then it'll just end and we'll put something else on in the background. There you go. Candy Cane Lane. Happy Christmas. This film, awful. Eddie Murphy, what are you doing? I'm now, I'm now concerned. I'm concerned for fucking Beverly Hills Cop 4. Yes, we are getting that film. Tremendous, can't wait. Cause let's face it, baby, these days, you gotta have a sequel. No! No! Candy King Lane, though, is a solid. Oh, Christ. I'm gonna do it. One out of ten. This is a one out of ten film. An absolute abject waste of my time. Forgettable, utter nonsense. Pure, unmitigated dribble in Christmas form. Cynical filmmaking, cynical advertising, a cynical release. Everyone's all smiley on the poster. There's nothing to fucking smile about. It's utter shit. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe to the channel for more joyful and triumphant views and videos like this. Please do leave a comment as well. Have you seen this film? What did you think? Is it worth your time? Are you an idiot? I hope so. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.